back to Jenna's kitchen. We always have a ton of fresh basil growing in our little herb garden, but sometimes we have too much and can't make enough recipes with it before it goes bad. So here's a simple way to use some of that good basil and preserve it for winter time. Let's get started. So the first thing we have is two cups of washed basil. I'm gonna put it in here. And now some recipes says that you're supposed to like blend the basil, then put in the Parmesan cheese and garlic, and then add the oil. But I think that if you just add it all together and your blender doesn't overfill, you're good. Next we have two cloves of garlic. Get some good flavor. And now we have two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is gonna add a little bit of freshness to our pesto. Delicious. Lemon juice will also keep it from changing color because if you don't add it, it will turn a little bit brown, kind of like guacamole, but it's not bad. It's just a little brown. Then we have half a cup of Parmesan cheese. A fourth a cup of oil. And then a little salt. And a little pepper. Top on. And blend it up. Scrape down the sides. And keep blending until it gets nice and smooth. Alrighty. This is looking good. Don't forget to scrape it down the sides one more time. And give it a little taste. I like to taste it to make sure it's not too salty or too sour from the lemon juice. Mmm. That's really good. So now what we're going to do is take out the blade and then spoon it into these ice cube trays to freeze it. You can use it right away if you want to. Put it on pasta, sandwiches, pizza. It's delicious. It's good anyway. Or you could freeze it. And then anytime you need some pesto, just thaw it out and you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna put these in the freezer and then bring them out whenever we need them. You can freeze them in ice cube trays or you can put them in these little containers, whatever you like. And like I said earlier, pesto goes great on so many different things. It goes great on sandwiches. You can put it on a turkey sandwich, a ham sandwich, a uh, chicken sandwich, whatever you like. You can put it in chicken pasta salad, you can put it on just pasta. We had that the other day for lunch, it was amazing. Or you could put it on pizza, like the Green Stripe Pizza at Blaze. If you haven't tried that, I definitely recommend that you do. Don't forget to like this video, and if you wanna see me make any of those recipes, comment which one down below, subscribe to Jenna's Kitchen, and have a great day.